Hello. <sighs> what a long time it has been. Hi my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're watching this, first of all, thank you for just being loyal. Thank you for, um, sorry, Carrie Underwood's blaring out here. Um, just for coming back to my channel. It's been a month and I figured it was time for me to let you guys know what I've been doing, where I've been, yada yada. Um, I'm actually on my way out to do some errands but I thought I would try to like vlog while I was driving. I don't know how these people do it. Like there's nowhere to put it. Like there's no good angle. It's gonna fall. So hopefully I'll just be able to update you guys when I get to where I'm going. So see you soon. Hello. I'm calm and my eyes are super dilated. So this is a little bit dangerous, but what can you do? Sorry, my dream catcher's in the way here, but whatever. So anyway, what I was talking about before, where have I been? I was actually gone for five weeks. I was on a study abroad type of program. What happened was I was in Thailand for a week. Well, let me backtrack. I went to China for three weeks with my school and it was super awesome. It was based on doing business in China. But before me and my friend decided to go to Thailand because we were both kind of just like, why not? We've never been there before. And that's all on the whole another side of the world. So we did that and then afterwards, she was continuing to go continuing to travel for the rest of the summer so I decided to go to Greece with her and then she went to Italy and all these other places before her next city abroad but so I was in Thailand China and Greece is the point of what I'm trying to discuss here and it was seriously unreal like I'm going to insert pictures and stuff and just try to like compress everything into one video because I was backpacking through around the world for five weeks and I only brought this big backpack that I got from REI first of all is amazing if you're gonna do anything like what I did you definitely need to get a backpacking backpack and just like go with it it was definitely an investment but I'm going to use it for so many other trips um, so we had like packing cubes and I can go through a whole another video if you guys would like on how to pack for backpacking through Europe like I think that's actually something I'm gonna do but so we left I live in Cincinnati so we left Cincinnati took a mega bus to Chicago and it was like six hours and I'll insert pictures as I'm talking but once we got to Chicago we went um, we got to Chicago and then we kind of chilled there for a few hours and then went to Bangkok. We flew into Bangkok, but we flew into Taipei first and that was like a, a layover for a few hours and then we went to Bangkok and we were only there for a day, but we saw like so many temples and so many different things. It was so hot. As soon as we got off the plane, like, oh my gosh, ridiculous humidity and heat. Like, I thought I was gonna die for a second. My glasses fogged up immediately. It was tough, but so, it was really cool and we stayed in Airbnb and it was awesome. And so then we left from Bangkok the next day to Krabi, which is a small island. And this was beautiful. We were in a hostel in the forest and once again, I'll insert pictures. And as soon as we got there, like we flew and fun fact, flights inter uh, domestically in Asia are like $15. So it was awesome. So we got to the island, we went on this island tour and this was amazing. We got to snorkel in the Andaman Sea, I believe it is. This isn't really working, but I'll just hold it right here for now. It was seriously so beautiful, like unreal. Like the water was just so blue and then we had a barbecue on the beach at sunset. It was ridiculous. I just couldn't believe that like my life was actually real, you know? So after that, we kind of just fooled around Krabi for the next few days, just kind of stayed on the beach. Then we headed to Chiang Mai, and this is another part of Thailand we flew there. And at Chiang Mai, in Chiang Mai, the big thing is elephants. So of course we went to an elephant sanctuary and we got to pet the elephants, play with them, feed them, and bathe them. And this was just like unreal. Um, first of all, elephants are huge. And you know that like from reading about it and stuff, but then when you're actually with them, you're like, what? They're gigantic. Oh, sorry, I'm driving. Um, 
but yeah, so we got to do all of that. It was just seriously unreal. Like I, Thailand was probably my favorite place that I went because it, there were just so many aspects of it. I just couldn't believe I was actually there. So after we saw the elephants, we came back and then we had like some flights layovers, ended up in China with our group. And for the three weeks we were there, we were in Beijing, Chengdu, Xiamen, and Hong Kong. And these were all super awesome. We were with our school, so we were with a group of about 15 and doing different like company visits, business briefings and whatnot. So we learned a lot about business because that's where business students, obviously, <laughs> and learning about that type of stuff. So it was really, really awesome. Um, besides like the stuff that we learned, the Chinese culture is just crazy. Like it's so, so different than anything we experience in America. Oh, this is convenient. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're gonna stay here. We'll just stay here for now. So the Chinese economy is like what we were mainly learning about, but the culture is just ridiculous. Like people will like hack loogies and spit on the street all the time and spit and it's not considered rude, like all things like that. It's crazy. So besides that, they also eat like every part of the animal like possible. Like we ate like spine, meat, like feet, head, brain, uh, heart, which was actually really good. It tastes like duck. But the pig brain was just like, oh, oh my gosh, it was so mushy, gross, I can't do it again. So that happened. Um, what else notable about China? It's, it's just weird being in a communist country. Um, that's what I've been telling a lot of my friends. The government just has total control and that's just how it is. So, I mean, I can get more into that later if you're interested, but. So after China, we went to Greece and first we landed in, a, in Athens. We went to Acropolis and we definitely experienced culture shock. Um, again, sorry if I'm going through this really fast. I'm trying to be brief so I can mainly just show the picture because it was just unreal and if you guys had any questions I could further uh, develop on that but so in Athens we saw Acropolis and it was really cool to see like the historical site and Athens itself is just like a historical city it's like an ancient city existing in the modern time like all their architecture is just weird it's like not there's no skyscrapers like no way all the old buildings and stuff are the exact same as they were like thousands of years ago which was kind of cool to see but very strange the food delicious delicious also in Thailand I forgot to mention that it's super fresh fruit and stuff um, but in Athens we had gyros like every single day the tzatziki sauce to die for I literally had a gyro twice a day for the whole time we were in Greece which was about a week so I have to take a break from them now but they were so good and so after we were in Athens for a day we went to Mykonos which is a small island and it was amazing like the water is so blue like everything's so beautiful unreal and we were just on the island chilling being at the beach for a few days we didn't really do much else and then I headed home but I had a stop over in Dublin like a 20 hour layover so I ended up getting a hostel and going around to the different places while I was there and it was really cool. This was the first time I was by myself on the trip because I was with my friend in Thailand. She was on the China trip and then she headed on to do her next traveling and then I was in Dublin. And it was cool. I saw the Dublin Castle, like their little downtown like City Hall area, um, Trinity College, like Temple Bar area, um, and lots of really cool things. And then I headed home finally. It took, felt like forever to get home, but then I got home and I just got home a couple days ago. Today's Monday. I'm um, not sure when you guys will be seeing this, possibly Tuesday. I don't know. But um, for a couple days, I was definitely still mentally in Europe. I was like trying to just adjust to everything. But now that I've been here for a couple days, I definitely feel like I'm back. I'm excited for this summer to start. I have a lot of new jobs starting. Actually, four new jobs starting, which is a little freaky. But so I'm going to be doing that this summer, just still working out, making videos and all that fun stuff. Um, but I felt like you guys were due an explanation of where I've been and what I've been doing because I definitely was MIA for a while. Um, but so once again, oh my god, I... <laughs> okay. Oh, 
the main reason why I didn't bring my camera because I was really nervous about it getting broken or like something happening to it um, which was good because there were definitely a lot of times that something bad could have happened and I'm really glad I didn't bring it and I lived in the moment uh, I feel like that's something I really needed to do so I'm sorry that I didn't take you guys with me, but I hope these pictures and video explanation will suffice. I'm so sorry that this quality is so horrible and I'm just in the car, like, driving home. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and being loyal. If you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you and the support is ridiculous. Like, I can't put it into words that people actually watch these videos. So thank you so much and... Sorry, my eyes are dilated and I just don't know what's going on in life. Um, but I will see you guys next time. I'm not sure how often I'll be posting videos over the summer. I know in the spring semester I was posting like every three days. Oh, sorry. I, sorry, I can't take it anymore. But I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not really going to be doing... I'm not going to be like as busy as I was during school. So I could potentially post... Uh, every few days still but I'll let you guys know what I come up with so again thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys next time love you so much and remember to subscribe like this video and share it if you know someone who's backpacking through Europe or anything like that thank you guys again bye have a great one